Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Bev and I hope you're all doing well. In case you're coming across this channel for the first time, you are most welcomed and kindly consider subscribing. In today's video, we'll be preparing Kenyan kebabs. This is one snack that is very simple to make with very simple ingredients. The spices that I used are black pepper, cumin, garam masala, paprika, eggs, ginger garlic paste, thinly diced onions, thinly sliced coriander leaves, bread crumbs, ground beef, and all purpose flour. Put some oil in a pan and once it heats up, Add the onions and sauté for a minute. Next add the ginger garlic paste and sauté for a minute. Next, you add the spices and you mix well until everything is nicely incorporated. Let's mix up all the ingredients. We start with our ground beef, then we add some salt to taste. Then we add our coriander leaves. We then added our onions and the ginger garlic paste that we sauteed. We then add one egg. Next we add breadcrumbs. Lastly we get to mixing. Mix well until everything is nicely incorporated. Let's now mold our mixture into sausage-like shapes and dust them with all-purpose flour and let them rest. I started off by oiling my hands so the mixture does not stick on my hands when I'm doing the rolling. Now let's prepare our egg coating. We add salt to taste and we whisk. Now let's start deep frying. We put oil in a pan and it should be medium hot. If the oil is too hot, our kebab will only cook on the outside where the inside will be raw. We start off by cutting the meat in the egg mixture, then we put it in the oil. Let's 
Let's start deep frying them in batches so that we don't overcrowd the pan. Four minutes later, I turned them over. After turning them over, I deep fried them for four minutes and I removed them from the oil. I repeated the same process as I did in the first bunch. Now we get to double coat the kebab in the egg mixture. I normally coat mine twice and others prefer doing it three times. Double coat your next bunch as you double coated this one. The kebabs turned out so juicy and very flavorful. Make this for your family and they will love it. Thank you so much for watching this video and kindly subscribe.